Hello, welcome everybody. This is Dr. Bolad, board certified physician in cardiology, interventional cardiology, and internal medicine, certified by the American Board of Internal Medicine. If you are new to this channel, then definitely consider hitting the subscribe button below and switch on the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos that I post. For my subscribers, thank you for your continued support. Today, I will talk to you about fast heart rates, medically known as tachycardia. In normal conditions, the heart beats at a rate of 60 to 100 beats per minute. The heartbeat originates in the upper right chamber of the heart from the sinoatrial node, travels down to the atrium to the atrioventricular node, and then travels to the ventricles. This pattern of beating is known as sinus rhythm. When the heart rate exceeds 100 beats per minute, we label the individual as suffering from tachycardia. There are three broad categories of tachycardias. The first category is sinus tachycardia, and this occurs when the heart is beating in the normal pattern I just described, but the heart rate is increased to above 100 beats per minute. In the vast majority of patients, sinus tachycardia does not directly cause symptoms, although a patient with a greater awareness of his or her heartbeat may report palpitations, which is a subjective awareness of a rapid or forceful heartbeat. In the great majority of patients, sinus tachycardia occurs as a physiologic response to demand for greater cardiac output, increase sympathomimetic state, or parasympathetic withdrawal. Causes include fever, volume depletion, infection, anemia, and anxiety, overactive thyroid, heart failure, lung disease, caffeine and nicotine intake, and abrupt withdrawal of certain medications like beta blockers. Sinus tachycardia also occurs in postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome generally abbreviated as POTS. This is a condition that occurs predominantly in young women in the absence of structural heart disease. Patients develop symptoms upon standing, symptoms such as palpitations, fatigue, lightheadedness, or exercise intolerance. POTS is defined as an increase in the heart rate of more than 30 beats per minute in the absence of a drop in systolic blood pressure of more than 20 millimeter of mercury. Another cause of sinus tachycardia is known as inappropriate sinus tachycardia, and it is an unusual condition that occurs in individuals without apparent heart disease or other cause of sinus tachycardia, such as fever or overactive thyroid, and is generally considered a diagnosis of exclusion. Patients are invariably symptomatic, most commonly with palpitations but other common symptoms include chest discomfort, fatigue, dizziness, presyncope, syncope, and shortness of breath. The second large category of increased heart rate is known as supraventricular tachycardia. This is an abnormality of rapid heart rhythm originating in the upper chambers of the heart, the chambers above the ventricles. These are usually associated with hemodynamic compromise or severe symptoms due to tachycardia, such as angina, heart failure, or low blood pressure, requiring rapid termination of the arrhythmia. Causes of supraventricular tachycardia include atrioventricular nodal reentrant tachycardia, abbreviated as AVNRT. This is due to dual electrical pathways in or near the atrioventricular node and occurs more commonly in women compared to men. The dual pathways are composed of a slow pathway and a fast pathway. Another cause of supraventricular tachycardia is known as atrioventricular reentrant tachycardia, abbreviated as AVRT. This is caused by the development of an accessory pathway short circuiting the cardiac conduction system 
and this accessory pathway is not related to the atrioventricular node. Other causes of supraventricular tachycardia include focal atrial tachycardia, which is usually paroxysmal and self-limited fast heart rate, arising from a single site or area of micro re-entry outside of the sinus node. Atrial flutter, which usually occurs due to the development of macro re circuit in the upper chambers of the heart. Atrial fibrillation, which is fast and irregular heart beating originating from the upper part of the chest. And multifocal atrial tachycardia, due to organized atrial activity caused by electrical activity from three or more sites in the upper part of the heart. The third large category of increased heart rate is known as ventricular tachycardia. This is fast rate originating from the lower chambers of the heart, the ventricles. If the heart rate of this arrhythmia is not very fast, it might be tolerated well. However, if the speed is very fast, this arrhythmia might be life-threatening and can lead to collapse and cardiac arrest. This is because the lower part of the heart is beating too fast and does not have enough time to fill with blood to pump and to circulate the blood to the rest of the body. The seriousness of this tachycardia also depends on whether the heart pumping function is normal or reduced, with the latter having a more serious impact on the circulation. Treatment of the tachycardia depends on the cause of the tachycardia. Sinus tachycardias are treated with correction of the underlying abnormality. Supraventricular tachycardias are generally either treated with medications to reduce the fast heart rate or treated with cardiac ablation, in which catheters are introduced to the heart and the focus of the arrhythmia is ablated or destroyed by catheters either using heat therapy or cold therapy. For ventricular tachycardias, treatment depends on the cause of the arrhythmia and the rate of the arrhythmia and include medications, cardiac ablation, and implantation of a cardioverter defibrillator. If you have any question about what I presented to you today, then subscribe to my channel and share your question in the comment section below and I will reply to you. If you have a question that you would not like to share in public, then follow me on Twitter at Dr. Bolad and send me a private Twitter direct message and I will reply to you. If you found value in this video, then please like and share this video with family and friends. This is Dr. Bolad helping you with your heart health Thanks for watching and talk to you soon.